KJ Wright want parts? I. <laughs> What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk, right back like I never left. What's going on with y'all? Little Saturday evening kicking it with CFT, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I just wanted to hear and jump in here and, and chop it up with y'all about one thing. Well, a couple things. But I just wanted to kick it with y'all real quick. It's Saturday evening. You know, always thinking about my boys. So I'm thinking, man, what's the next move? Is free agency over? I don't think it's over. I feel like Dallas is, this is when Dallas is about to get busy. Now, you can say it's not getting busy, or you can say this is a different year where some of these players that are still on the market, because of the salary cap, they wouldn't be on the market in normal years. Some of these good players, some of these good veterans that are about to get scooped up in the coming days wouldn't be on the market normally. But because of the salary cap squeeze, it not going up, it holding Pat around the 185 or something range, I forgot the exact number, um... It leaves people with options, one-year deal options, prove-it deals, you know, uh, for lack of a better word. And I think K.J. Wright would be a steal and would change this defense for the better. Just like I feel like that with Keanu Neal, I definitely feel like K.Z. is an upgrade from the dude that just signed with the Vikings. All I got to do is say one thing to our old safety. Don't care. Goodbye. Don't nobody go, ain't nobody gonna miss you. Don't nobody miss you. Go over there to the Vikings and do that whole I don't go hard every play shit. We don't want you around here. Anyway, listen, KJ Wright knows Dan Quinn's defense, has been a model of consistency in the league for what, nine years? And because of the salary cap crunch, I feel like he's a casualty. I definitely feel like Seattle would want to bring him back if they could. Probably just for less money. That's where we come in. That's where he comes in. Because apparently, K.J. Wright himself was talking to Mike Fisher. And look, I know people. some people hate Mike Fisher. Some people like Mike Fisher. I ain't, I'm indifferent. Mike Fisher is an actual reporter that has Cowboys connections. So I pay attention to him because he does the work that I can't do. I don't have inside connections. Maybe one day. But right now, I don't. So I take the information, digest it, and give you all my opinion. And what he's saying is K.J. Wright is saying that Dallas would be a dream destination. Check one. Then, apparently today he's saying, what if I told you Dallas was looking into K.J. Wright? Check two. Actually saying, what if Dallas was talking to K.J. Wright? Check three. That means that what I want to happen is possibly going to happen. And look, about, let's say, about a month and a half ago, I made a video talking about what we're going to do at linebacker. It ain't really get too much traction. It was way before these days. Maybe like 200 views or something, something like that. You know, I'll, I'll put the, vi the, the, the picture up. Um, this video didn't do, do too much traction. But what it did was let you know that even before free agency hit, during the playoffs, I was thinking, hmm, how can we approve this team? And I was looking at potential free agent linebackers, and I looked at K.J. Wright. This is right after we got Quinn. And the, the, because of the connection now, it's exactly why I was thinking we should pick KJ right up. Because he knows Dan Quinn's system. He'd be a perfect fit. Now, at the time, I was thinking we might move off Jalen. That ain't happened. But we haven't restructured Jalen Smith's contract. And if you cut Jalen Smith before June 1st, you could still save money. Or post June 1st, I forgot how that works. But I don't think they're going to cut him. Because one thing that we've shown is that depth is important. So bringing in K.J. Wright, I know people are saying, well, how are you going to play all them linebackers at once? Keanu Neal want to run Will, and then you got Leighton Van Der Esch, and you got Jalen Smith, and maybe Sean Lee, and I'll tell you all this. Last year, we were supposed to have all of them too. Unfortunately, with injuries, we looked up and we were struggling. Joe Thomas, and we don't know what we're going to do. So, yeah, this is insurance, really good insurance. K.J. Wright, you know. Maybe move Jalen into making him, letting him play a certain amount of plays. Being more of a specialist. A more downhill player. Because his side-to-side movement is just kind of tailed off. I don't know what you're going to do with him. 
But you can't tell me that having more good players on a football team is a bad thing. Like, can we try some of that? Everybody talking about, well, what you going to do? You're trying to fit the, uh, um, the, the pieces into the puzzle, and I don't know if we can take this dude. Like, we can turn. Like, we have the, the rights to turn down good players. Come on, man. K.J. Wright would be great for this team. I also feel like Dallas wouldn't be done with K.J. Wright. I feel like there's a bunch of free agents out here that still can be scooped up. We still ain't done, I think, in the D-tackle area. We got our youth at D-tackle right now. We got our run stopper and Urban, you know, and we got another DN and um, Basham. But we ain't done. I don't think we done by no means. I think that other dude, Carlos Watkins, is a camp body. He probably won't even make the team. You know, you just kind of pick him up and see what goes on because you know we're going to have cuts. Everybody that's on the team right now ain't going to be on the team. Ask Ha Ha Clinton Dix how that worked out last year. But it's cool, man. Competition breeds success. So I don't care how that works out. Make sure the best players hit the field. And as far as our linebacker situation, KJ Wright will make us better. You know, I feel like the Cowboys, to be honest with you, as much as I love Donovan Wilson, they might not be completely sold. Donovan Wilson has, what, like a six or seven game sample size as a starter? And he played great. I would just give him the keys. But front offices are skeptical. They probably looking at Donovan Wilson like, ah, what if he regresses? Can we put our whole season on that? Now we don't got a, a, a backup. Keanu Neal is that backup. You bring in K.J. Wright and Keanu Neal, if Donovan Wilson regresses, put him back there. You feel me? Donovan can play some, some, some free too. You got to shore yourself up, you know. And with Keanu Neal, that just gives you more assets to use at any given time in case of emergency break glass. You feel me? So – I wouldn't I would shore up all these parts of the defense before the draft. So you can go best player available all through the draft and get the best players that they are there and not try to fill needs with players that you kinda like. You feel me? But KJ Wright, man, he's just a model of consistency. He's a sure tackler, something that we I run defense over the last couple of years, man. Hold on. Hold on. Run defense been trash. But these moves, I feel like, will fix that. Keanu Neal, short tackler. K.J. Wright, short tackler. Gerald McCoy, short tackler. Maybe Geno Atkins, short tackler. Reed. Reed from Seattle that just got released. I forgot his first name. Y'all tell me. That would be an incredible pickup. And he got some youth. Now, I don't know if Dallas would do that, but I want him to do that. Because I want to get better, you know. But I feel like there were teams that shined in the first part of free agency. They just throwing dough out. You know, New England, the Giants, you know, just throwing the bread out. This is when we going to shine. Because this is my theory, and I'll let y'all go. Our defense isn't as bad as it was last year. A lot of the same players is on that good defense that was close to top 10 in 2018. It was a good defense. Over the last year and a half or so, it's regressed. It has. But I feel like it's somewhere in the middle. And I feel like with the right coaching, we could go from 31st ranked to somewhere in the middle. With the way our offense is going to be shaping up, and if we get Kyle Pitts, if we can have a defense that's ranked like 13, 12, we can make a move. We can make a real move. But we cannot, we're we not going to do nothing with a 31st ranked defense. we just not. Y'all tell me what y'all think about put, bringing in K.J. Wright. K.J. Wright already told y'all that he want to come here. Cowboys front office got to make those pieces work. Stop playing. Let's show up this team so we can roll into the draft. Some good players, man. I'm chilling, though. It's Saturday. And why, yo, why y'all ain't telling me how good Snowfall was? That's messed up. I've been on a snowfall marathon. Snowfall good. Anyway, it's your boy, Mr. Wrong. I'm about to go get back to my show. KJ Wright, man. I holla.